At a restaurant, the dinner course used to cost 30 bucks. Now it costs $36. What is the percent increase of the cost? Anytime we have a percent increase or, a matter of fact, percent decrease, um, any percent change, we want to use the equation, the difference, or the positive difference, so I'll put absolute value signs there, divided by the original amount. So in this case, we have original amount is 30, and the positive difference between them is 36 minus 30. So this is equal to 6 divided by 30, which is equal to 0.2. In order to make it a percentage, of course, we want to multiply it times 100, and we get 20%. In a separate question, if it says that a dinner, let's say, costs $36, and now with some coupon, um, the dinner costs $30 what would the percent decrease of this um, dinner cost? So in that case, you would have 36 minus 30. The original amount now would be the original cost of 36 prior to applying the coupon. We want to multiply it times 100 to get it a percent. This would be 6 over 36 times 100, which is equal to roughly 6 and, or 6.6 .6 or 6 and 2 thirds percent. So Really, the equation is exactly the same. The only thing you have to really be careful for is the original. So in this case, for the original question, here on the right side, we have the original value being 30, which is um, the lesser cost. Now it's more expensive at 36. In my separate example, in um, the question that I'm asking you, I'm saying that the original dinner costs 36 bucks, and let's say you use a coupon or there's some promotion going on, and the dinner only cost you 30, what would be the percent change, uh, or I'm sorry, the percent decrease or the percent that you save. Um, in this case, the original amount would be what the dinner started at, which would be 36. So just be careful which number you use as the original, but the cool thing is you only need to know one equation for the percent change. Against Again, that's the absolute value with a positive difference divided by the original number, and to make it a percent, you want to multiply times 100.